Hello, this is Greg Hannon at Gospel Music University. And today, during this lesson, we're actually going to transcribe a few chords uh, from a song called I Am the Holy Spirit uh, from Creflo Dollar Ministries. This song was actually requested by a student of mine who was having difficulty trying to figure out what the chord changes are to this tune. And let me say this, at Gospel University, we want to really get you to really understand music theory understanding that once we break this song down in progressions progressions are used in all songs and if we can teach the student how to hear progressions then we can pretty much figure out and play anything we want to because we don't just learn progressions that are in a particular song just for that one song because we're trying to dissect that song and say hey this progression is the same progression that's used in song A, B, C, and D and once we realize that it's only so many progressions and we just need to listen and learn to hear them all, then we can pretty much play anything by we want to. But let's start um, by uh, listening to the song on the track first. I wrote the chords out for you to actually post it in your Facebook window. And let me just go over these chords. The chords, I'm giving only the chord names because in this form, I don't have time to really go write and spell each chord out. I have a product called the Contemporary Chord Finder a uh, system which actually gives you all the spellings to all the most uh, popular chords in contemporary gospel, jazz, R&B, and neo, soul, and funk. So if you need the spellings for those, if you don't understand uh, what the chord names mean, certainly uh, you want to order the contem my contemporary chord finding learning system because all these lessons will be presented like this. But the spellings are in there because there's so many chords and so many spellings. You definitely need that guide if you don't already have it or understand what these are symbols mean. So let's have a listen at I Am the Holy Spirit uh, performed by Creflo Dollar Ministries. We'll start with the intro. So right off the bat, I'm listening to the bass line. I'm hearing the bass line. I'm hearing just two chords. Okay. And it's a, a G flat to a B flat. So I kind of want to back that up for a second and kind of look at what's going on because there are only two chords up there. If you look at part A uh, posted on your screen there, A, we have uh, a G flat major 9 chord going to a B flat 11 chord. And that's what's the bass line to the two chords that he was playing on the introduction. Yeah, there were a lot of little melodies going around, but basically there were two chords that we got to train the ear to hear the bass line first before we can even figure out what's in the right hand. So, la, la. So the bass line will tell me that, hey, I only got so many chords it could be. If I got a G flat in the bass, it's got to be some kind of a G flat chord. In this case, it's G flat major 9, okay, which is that particular chord. And they're displayed on, on the piano right there on the screen for you. And then we got a B flat 11, okay. And then we got, it goes back to the G flat major 9. Now, I bet you're saying, hey, I heard a whole lot more than just those chords. So let's listen to it again. Okay, again. Okay, so basically those chords, it was the same chord, they're just broken up. And this is the thing about gospel. Uh, once we learn the harmonies, then we got to really listen to the rhythms that they're using on the albums to really figure out the, the nuances and get the real stylistic sound of what's going on in the music. Because we can play those chords straight, and they'll work just fine. But that's not what he's doing on the album. He's actually breaking those chords up in the melody. You hear melodies one and two and three and four. And you hear something like ba da 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 da. Uh, let's kind of listen to it one more time and uh, before we move on, just give me an idea. Da 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 da. And those are rhythms from the chords one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So those are just rhythms going on from those same two chords, but we got to now we got to take that chord and figure out what the rhythms are, and just take those notes. So it's still a G flat major nine, but just broke it up. And then to be flat eleven, that's still a G flat major nine. 
Okay, so... And, and you got the option to take what you already know and modify the rhythms just to make it feel good for you. But that's the gist of the song. So when we play these songs, people need to understand what we're playing. They need to recognize the introduction. So we got to go back and tweak the chords a little bit to create that introduction to make that thing sound just like the CD. So let's move on. And now, oh, before we want, let me. That's a little melodic pickup right here. D flat, E flat, and L. Then it comes down the chord. Then it comes right down on the chord, okay? And that's, that's before we go to the top of the A every single time. Here we go. We'll speed that up a little bit. Back up just a little bit. Those are what we call melodic sixes, and we teach those in my Elements of Gospel course. So here we still on the A. G flat major nine. So D flat eleven. Now let's let's go over. And then it's the B major nine to the A flat eleven. down into the pocket where you can lock in with a basic guitar drum so you get a real authentic feel of the song. So right now I think it's going into the C section right here. I'm sorry, I did it again. Hear it? And let's repeat it again. So it's actually four times on the first A section. We have a roadmap down there to show you that. Okay, and here we go again. Next part, B flat, bass by E flat, A flat, L, B flat, E flat, A flat, C, B flat. Okay, so let's just listen to that little part right there. Okay, so we got B flat major 9 to E flat 13, A flat minor 9 to F7 sharp 9, sharp 5, B flat minor 9 to E flat 13, A flat 9 to that C minor 7, flat 5 to the B flat 13, then we have a B flat C D, B flat C D flat, I'm just calling out the bass line, then we got the E flat 13, so let me put that together, part B in rhythm. Top would be one, two, ready, and one and two. And. Then on the A plus sus two. So on the A plus sus thirteen, this is one, two, three, four, one, two. Then we we'll go back to B. One. Elf. B flat, E flat, A flat, C B flat, and back on the A flat sus thirteen. One, two, then to the A flat seven. Okay, so let's kind of start back into the track again and getting up into that section. Here we go. Okay. Okay. 
whole cycle the whole thing is uh, very simple but these are beautiful chords when you learn these chords begin to just experiment like on part a we just got two progressions g flat major nine to b flat 11. that can be talk music you know musicians just sit down at the keyboard they sit, tend to play things and just kind of move around the keyboard they're actually playing some progressions and they're getting started they may do a lot of pretty things too but you got to start with one progression at a time find a great progression uh that g flat Going to the B flat, you know, we're in the key of D flat major. I don't know. I don't think I told you that in the beginning, but here we go. We got a G flat. That could be uh, talk music. An experiment with the rhythms. Take it up an octave. the bass line, G flat. So experiment with the rhythms. Don't just play the chords one way because these chords will be used in songs over and over again. And, you know, like in Lord I Love You, that, that I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. That's that the same progression that you're doing from that 4 to the 6 that G flat major 9 to the B flat 11 so so that's why we got to get familiar with chord progressions because this song is not the original founder of this progression these progressions have been used tons and tons and times over the decades in different songs so we're just applying it to this one so Dig into these here on part B is another great progression. And you may want to sit down at the piano and just play with that. You know, that part B, that B flat minor 9, E flat 13, the A flat minor 9. Slow it down. So this gives you those that ability to sit down at the instrument when you take the course and not only apply it to just the song that you learned them in, you begin to understand the science of music. Oh, I know what this is. A flat 13th is very popular. You know, run a scale over top of that. Very popular, very popular chord. So begin to experiment, learn the names, uh, get familiar with them. You may not know every use or application form right now, but I guarantee if you stick with me through Gospel Music University, we'll begin to, uh, to teach you all the components that you need. A great foundation to start this whole process is in my online course called Contemporary Keyboard Harmony 1. It's also available on DVD, but uh, the online uh, classroom has so many more uh, components that you won't be able to get in the uh, DVD course. But definitely, uh, if they said you had to be gifted to play gospel music, evidently they don't know my secret. This is Greg Hannon. For more keyboards, trips, ticks, excuse me, for more keyboards, tips, tricks, and more from Gospel Music University. We'll see you next time.